Hey guys, it's Jen. And right here I have an old beat up bookshelf that has a lovely oil stain on the back. I found this bookshelf at the Brimfield Flea Market and I plan on redoing it by using chalk paint and fabric on the back to cover up this stain. So let's see how it turns out. First, I need to take off the back piece, so I have to take out all the staples that are all along the edges. I'm not too worried if the edges crack a little bit because I will be covering it with fabric. And to get these staples up, I'm just using a little flathead screwdriver. Now I'm just getting the remaining staples out. I'm going to use the back piece as my template to cut out two pieces of fabric. One of the pieces is going to be the exact dimensions of the back and the other is going to be about an inch bigger on all four sides. Now it's time to take it outside since I'll be using chalked paint for the shelf and spray adhesive for the fabric. Before you start spraying with the paint, take a damp paper towel and just wipe down the wood just to clean it off. Now go ahead and put on gloves and start spraying. After the first base coat, let it sit and dry for about five to 10 minutes. And then for the second coat, go really slow so that it covers all the marks and it should be solid. Also, make sure that you're going with the direction of the wind. While the shelf is drying, attach the two pieces of fabric to this backboard piece using spray adhesive. First, I'm going to spray this backboard piece with the spray adhesive, and then I'm going to place it in the center of the larger piece of fabric. Now just press it down flat so that the glue sticks. Spray along the four edges of this piece and then fold the fabric over. For the last part of this, I'm going to spray this entire back piece and then put this fabric on top. Now just flatten it out so that there are no bubbles. Now that the shelf is dry and the backboard is done, I'm going to sand down the entire shelf, especially the edges and the corners, for a distressed look. Start off going gently. I'm going to give the shelf a quick wipe down after sanding, and then I'm going to apply one coat of the matte clear spray. Finally, I'm going to staple the backboard back on, and I'm going to make sure that the raw edge side of the fabric is facing down towards the shelf, and just line it up correctly. To make sure that the staples are tacked down tightly, I'm going to hammer each one down. So this is how the shelf came out. I'm very happy with it. I really like how the gray in the fabric matches the gray paint really well. And I chose to distress it because I wanted a more rustic vintage look. Um, you can leave it as is, you don't have to distress it, but that's the look I was going for. And that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching.